Welcome. Uh, go off. We back for the podcast. Took a little week or two off. Had some some things bubbling. Yeah. Um, definitely want to come back with some current events. After the first two shows, we still trying to find our groove. I think we go off. We receive some feedback that the, you know, once we get into it. You know, it's understood. It's a go off session. Understood. But we need to work on our our transitions, transitions our segues. segues. And yeah, yeah. So uh, <clears throat> let's 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 try to handle that. Let's try to make it happen. So all right. Um last two weeks, a few things I've been running, you see we got up on a on yeah. the situation. Yeah. But I I it don't even sit right on my heart. I gotta start with something that's hidden close to home. All right, you gotta speak on it. So I'll coach my Little nephew's baseball team, and we out here playing little travel ball. And if that's a whole different situation, right? Like, if that's what passed for middle class these days, we poke. Like, the, the game is totally different, but that's <laughs> neither here nor there. So, we had this travel ball tournament, and we riding back from Hammond on Saturday. And I don't really mess with that water, so I, I wasn't trying to take yeah, I-55. I feel coming back. So I was like, okay, let me hit 12 and then come back, you know, the shortest possible wall mm-hmm. I can hit on I-10. So I was like, okay, you know, Neff, have you ever been to Oak Island? You ever, Mishu, Eastover? He was like, yeah, I know about Eastover or whatever. I heard that's where, you know, my dad and you and, and my uncle grew up at. So, but he had never been over there. All right. So we hitting it. East over for y'all. I mean, Mishu for yours, y'all. Deep last exit in the you know. In Basically, the east. yeah. <laughs> That's where it really started for us, really, yeah. like kindergarten. Um, then we moved to East over when I was, I think, in eleventh grade. All right. And you know, I was like, you know, what kind of neighborhood that is? For you know, y'all grew up nineties, the early arts and everything. Y'all know what that is. All right. And we passed up. Baby house, and I said, "Yeah, that's where Baby used to live." And I went in to tell a story about, you know, how my pa copped the PT and Baby he had like this nigga said, "Who is Baby? The Baby?" That gray, I had to get out the car. So you, you gotta be a little. I had to put it. I had to get out the car. Yeah, you gotta have that discussion right now. I had to get out the car. And again, you know what kind of neighborhood East Over is. Yeah, it's understood. People stop like checking on me to see if you are right. Like, yeah, boy, who are you? I I know the person who drives that particular car. That ain't you, right? So one, what's going on there? Two, like, yeah, you know, just, you can't just jump in this building like that. You take this, your not shoes this, off, not this neighborhood, yeah, right? You put on a yeah. demonstration. He was like, like he just didn't know, right? Like he, it's like he knew of, but wasn't quite sure. No, yeah, right. Not even baby. He, it's like he knew of Wayne and Drake. Like Damn. that's even. But he ain't like, like I put this. I put this. Yeah, I put this like, shit baby. I put this shit you know, baby. But so, I. It's it's a whole different. World reality from whence you know we growing up, man. Oh, yeah, you know their reality as far as you know where this country is and what they see around them, and um, it's just it's just different. Yeah, man, coming up in in a lot. You know, we made a lot of progress as I think not only you know black people but as a nation. But at the same time, I think. We're not getting worse with respect to these white people wilding out than it's ever been. All right. I'll say it's getting to that fever pitch of our time, right? All right. Because, you know, you don't have a, you know, a Tulsa or Rosewood happening now. Um and and not to minimize, you know, what Malcolm said, like don't stick a knife in my back twelve inches pull and six, pull it out, sit, call it proud. That's not really what I'm talking about. Right. Um I'm just saying 
the country itself looks a lot different. Yes, this racism thing is real, but I think it's just the perspective on it and the way people are, are looking at it is just, I think, in a different place than, than, than where we grew up. I'm going to just throw that out there and mm -hmm. just talk about some events. You know, from the way I see it, and maybe from the way it's being covered, or maybe how these younger people might be looking at it, man. So that's where I'm at. Where you at? Man, uh, I, don't, I don't know, bro. I mean, I, I, you know, I, I do the little summer camp stuff, you know, work with the young people. You know, you try to have those conversations with them about current events, man. It's like, you know, if the, if the mechanism by which they are exposed is not a TikTok video or some social media platform, you know what I'm saying? It's hard to have a conversation that has depth with mm -hmm. them, right? So to to try to link, you know, historical circumstances to the the, the current <coughs> existence of our people, you know, it's a who's baby. That's I'm the gonna, con that's the conversation. And you know, I pulled up. You had to pull up the song, right? <laughs> So I had, like this. Is There's weird. a soundtrack to this. Huh? You know right. this little nigga wanted to see the video. It ain't a song. It that don't count. It could just be a song. You got to see the video. Yeah, it like he ain't not a real rap person. Like it didn't really exist until you see the video. Until it was a video. Yeah. If it wasn't on video, that it ain't happened to them. Look, I, I heard I heard somebody say something. I was messing around on Instagram, and it, uh, it was Paul Mooney actually. He said. This generation is more about instance, yes. right? They want it right then and there. Right now. But look, look how he, he dropped it. He said, that's why they, they, they even in such a hurry to die, that's why they're killing each other, right? They can't, even, they can't even wait and let death come when it's supposed hmm. to. They want everything so fast that they even rush into death, that killing each other. Like, man. Damn. Like, that's a whole different way of thinking about what is their existence and how they relate to a whole bunch of shit. Whether it's, I ain't never really thought about it like man, that. Man, whether it's a current context, whether it's trying to bring a, a historical circumstance into some context yeah, about man, even, man, 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 look, I, I, I got no capacity. They only no have no frame of reference. They have no bandwidth, man. Not for that. Like, I, I, we were having a conversation the day we took the kids on a little field trip, man. We were talking to the kids about music. Yeah. So they're talking about, like, you know, SoundCloud and, you know, uh, Tidal. I was like, do you know? I had to press play and record at the same time. Yeah. To get the song off the radio on the tape. On yeah, the, the on the cassette piece tape. Of paper, the, 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 what, yeah. In the in the in the corners of the corner. Like and they looking at me like cassette. That makes what sense. What is a cassette? What do you mean? Press yeah. play and record on what? Like, see, that's that and that that is the that's sheer crazy, that's the change me. in time, but it's also the change in the because you had to sit by that wait that radio and wait for your song to come yeah. on so you could press play. Man, these kids, man, you can type it in, pull up the whole song, the video, and all that right now, right? So that that is a a like a, a, a an analogy to how they approach situations. If it's not something that they can see right now, they're not going to research it. They're not going to look for it. That's not that that ain't that ain't how they comport themselves to shit right now. But I think these are the first people alive where. Contemporaneous, contemporaneous imaging is is ubiquitous. They yeah. don't know a world that they existed in that wasn't on record. Right, and display for everybody. Period. Yeah, Every, everything is about the post. Yeah. Yeah. There's footage of you. Absolutely. From the day you were born. Let's say you 20. Certainly, if you fifteen, oh yeah, like born right around the time oh, iPhones yeah. came. Oh out. yeah, there's footage of you since you were born. Right. So for you to imagine people that don't have videos of themselves and their babies, that's like an ancient person. But Dave, for you to come out your mama ass on a Snapchat, I mean, I think that's a different. Like for you to be snapped coming out your mama ass, like yeah, that's, that's, a, that's what I'm a different saying. level of where they are with it right now. Dave. Yeah, like I know. You know what I'm saying? But that's a that's, that's crazy, a that's a common man. occurrence. Like, you know, like I the stuff that you hear these young people talk about, like, and it make me feel like, man, like am I am I am I really fifty or some shit? Like, cause why do I feel 
so old and so out of place listening to the young people talk about what's current events and current affairs for them. And I know when we were in high school, even when we were in, in, in college, we, we, we were in a different place, but like this shit is just, it's, it's, it's a whole nother world, bro. So let's talk about the high school and college, and that's, this is a segue, you feel me, <laughs> to one of the topics I did want to hit on, and it's this infrastructure bill. All right. And you know, I'm about to dig into some people's shit on the, the politics of it, but let's just talk about the policy of it. All right. And I had a conversation earlier today with, you know, someone asked me, what's one of the more, my biggest learning curve when it comes to working in education and education related space? It's the kids, man. Oh, yeah. So the learning, they're the learning curve. Absolutely. You know, they keep me young and big picture, I think, particularly now, because the economy and the workplace is, train, is, is changing so rapidly, yeah. we have to guard against training young people and giving them skills for the marketplace we were entering. Yesterday instead of tomorrow. And instead of the ones that... And That's- we also need to look at, you know, be looking at that work force of that job market through their lens. They may not necessarily want to engage that workforce, you know, within the the same, under the same value structure. Right. That we went into. Absolutely. You know, and we're talking about age, uh, this stage of life, right? Right, right. So I think about that as well, and and I think about this infrastructure bill. And it has, a, nobody's read it, because it's, it's, I mean, I'm gonna call it spade a spade. Do we want the government to spend money on building the middle class and helping people out of poverty? Um, or do we want infrastructure just to mean, you know, Most huge bridges. government contractors get more subsidies bridges and highways and shit to like keep that. shit yeah. status quo? Let's, let's call it spade. Like it bridges, highways, hospitals, schools, military bases, dams, whatever they do, in addition to housing initiatives or vote whatever's in there. It didn't come out of nowhere. Right. If we had a policy debate on the individual topics, then that would be one thing. But the only right. thing that's happening right now is, oh, this number and that number, right? right? And then you have two white people, essentially, from, you know, holding the country hostage. This mansion, Joe Manchin, and Cinema mm-hmm. from Arizona. Mm-hmm. So the way I look at that is, this is not really about politics at all. I am hard on the Democrats because they... Cowards. That's that's the polite word I would use. Yeah, but they don't know how to do anything else but fuck up shit. Yeah. Um. So I knew they wasn't gonna get this passed, but everybody's trying to couch they it. They could, as, but they're not going. Yeah. To. Right. So why are these two people holding it up? And it's very flat out the play to hold on to. You know, protect white fragility. It's, they, they just don't want a representative government, a government by will of the people to do right by most of the people. They and for, wanna... for damn sure, what they don't want to see is government-sponsored building of a black middle class. Oh, they, but that's a given. But they but, but see, cause the, but very see, clearly that is understood by... Pretty much everybody. What I don't, what I'm interested in, I was on vacation, and and one of the guys I was talking to about, that that, that white hate is serious, right? Yeah. It's nothing. It's baked into the cake. But that white on white hate, ooh, it's something special to see. Boy, they tear each other up. And what I don't think 
I, people I don't, are paying I don't attention know. to. I don't know about they, that. I, I, I was raised a under the mindset off. that white dog don't eat white meat, Dave. So, yeah. You know. You know. So I, you know, I, I, I don't. I've never, I've never seen that. So you got to, you got to break that one down for me. Entry. They got buku poor white people. Oh yeah, but as long as you can make that poor white person think that he's better than the richest black person, he all right. But it's getting too fucked up for that. That's what I'm saying. And it's happening in places where they can't blame us. So that's why they're reaching like black people ain't not but they black do. people. Not the reason West Virginia fucked up. Right? I understand that. But Period. Some, but some kind of way, the Period. three, the three or four black people who live in West Period. Virginia. Guess what? They'll find a way to... And they quiet. You ain't never... I ain't never heard nobody from West Virginia say nothing said Randy Moss. I'm the only black person I know. And for some reason, Steve Harvey claimed he from there talking about that. I don't know. But they all shutting the hell up. I know ain't no niggas blame nothing for what's going on in West Virginia. I know they ain't been nothing. It just ain't come out And yet, then <laughs> this Arizona thing is unique too. Because, yeah, they could try to say, oh, it's the border and all of that, but they have a huge population of documented, oh, uh, bitch, we was here yeah, first, yeah, Hispanics. Yeah, this, we are Hispanics. We ain't, bitch, I been here. Y'all yeah. took this shit from yeah. us. Yeah. Yeah, y'all stole this from us. We don't like, forget that. Like everything else. Yeah. Just because we don't live on a reservation, bitch, we ain't forget. Right. right. We ain't forget. Right. So and they ain't really doing it, and now shit creeping into Texas. They tell the niggas in Texas, your fat ass, you gotta turn the AC off. Now it's problems. You can't blame that on a nigga. No, you can't blame. We don't run no power station. But we at, don't run none of that. But at some point, no, they they, they will find a way to put drove. the burden of no. that on the poorest and lowest income it's community. It's too late for that though. It's too late. Man, look, we ain't got that's, nothing else to take. That's fine till the lights get cut off. We ain't got nothing else to take. Till the, till the lights get cut off. And then all those poor and low-income people sitting in the in, in the heat. We ain't got nothing else to take. Uh, son, man, we gonna turn them lights off. You that's, ain't got nothing. And more importantly, they don't care what we got left to take. They drove that in their little neighbor subdivision with the gate and they little box with the full, with the five bedroom and the full bath. They cheap ass ain't want to get the generator because the real estate agent in mouthpiece, oh, this area never flood, ain't got to worry about that. And now you can't turn your lights on because y'all asked and elected these Republican people who sold y'all lies about y'all utility and the grid and all that don't have shit to do with black people. But I don't, don't have nothing to do with but us. But the, 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 watch, watch the, what I tell you. The most comfortable concern for those people is even though they shit might flood, Man, guess what they don't look, have to worry about? Guess what? Guess they don't have to worry about? Greg and Dave walking down the street, what? past their crib, being in their neighborhood. Hey, that's that's, that, that's, that's fine. The, and, and unfortunately, what I'm saying is that what, what I perceive to be the, the typical American mindset, that is of much more importance than my house stand dry or the lights being oh, on. Oh, yeah. As long, as long as I ain't got to worry about seeing these two walking down the street in my neighborhood because this they don't belong in this area. Y'all don't belong around here. So that is, th that's the mindset that unfortunately... America has proven too many times yeah. over. So, this is a. I'm gonna hit him. I'm gonna hit him in the head again. Watch this. Boom! Another segue. That's how I see this mentality with this. This January 6th oh, investigate. We not gonna investigate shit. Because I don't really think it's nothing to investigate, dog. They. They know. They like they, okay. They. If every time we investigate it. White people trying, you know, basically getting out of hand with their racism, trying to protect white supremacy, uh, fragility, then, I mean, we wouldn't really have a, a need for a government or nothing like that. So I'm going to just put it like this. When I was on my visit to Howard, me and my daddy, suited and booted, suited and booted, blazers, hard, hard sole shoes. Hit it with the hard body. Hard sole shoes. Hit it with the all right? Hard Okay, I'm going to make sure I, make sure I <laughs> clarify that. We standing, you know what I'm saying, me and my pop, suited and booted, standing in front of the Capitol, taking pictures on the other side of the street. Officer came politely, oh, yeah, told got, us, gotta yeah, y'all got, got to yeah, you know, gotta gotta move see. over something. So hold up. See. So wait a minute, hold up. So the two, me and my daddy, drew a response. 
Well, we suited and booted. My pa got the briefcase, you know what I'm saying? I got the little trying to be briefcase, you know what I'm saying? I'm on my way. And we draw a response, but people with chains, they erected a gallows in front of the, and that don't, that don't draw no response. If you had five, if you had a noop, a Q, a sigma, a alpha, and a iota together, go stand in the same spot, then I bet you they get a much more visceral and violent response than this four or five thousand person mob that yeah. came to. So I'm saying that. So America don't need to investigate that to know that's that. What that's what I'm saying. The, yeah, you don't need to investigate that. Well, that's that's basic that's money. We just man, told y'all what it was man. about. Man, stop it, man. Y'all didn't see for four years what it was stop about. Stop it, man. What you gonna do? Stop it. What you gonna do? Stop and it. And that's my thing. Like, these Democrats, they, they hoes, dog. So, at least the, the Republicans just come out and say it. Hey, bro, when the Republicans get in power, they go foot, foot on the ass, throat. don't give a shit how you feel. When Democrats get in power, they say, let's have tea and crumpets and sit around the tree and, and read bedtime stories. and Like, like wh- what is this? It's more sinister than that, I feel, dog. It's more sinister than that. But they simpletons, bro. So I, I don't, no, I'm not even. I don't. So I don't think they simpletons. I think it's much more sinister than that. The bulk of the Republican Party is still people vested in America as is. Right? They're not looking for no radical change. Of course not. Like. Because any change will result in power. Like any white from man Netflix. Democrat. In, unless they are in a marginalized, and it's only, I mean, people know what I'm talking about, but any white, I mean, that's just lip service, really. And, I mean, let's call it liberal white women just trying to have equal status to white men. They not really trying to upset the apple cart that much either. So let's not... But it's not upsetting We the look cart. to them because that's our only avenue... That we see as, you know, our only avenue to real super progressive change that would benefit people that look like you and I. But make no mistake, that's not what it they call mansion and cinema moderates. And moderately what? Moderately Republican. Yeah. That's what it is. Right. So like moderate, like that's retarded. And you know, I told people when he was running that 45 was De Barack. And, you know, no matter, I mean, he was a he was a candidate that, you know, that black people, it, it don't matter. His his support might have slipped on his worst day. But you can't, you can, but you can't even play 45 by calling him a Barack. You what can't I'm even play him like that. What I'm saying is I don't think the Democrats have found anybody to go further than Barack, you know, on that, like, extreme They have, 45 they, they with got any them, coherent but they, not, they got them, but they not about oh. to allow them, Dave. I'm and telling you. America, but they ain't no allowed, America, dog. That's, America, that's straight up and down votes. That's straight up and down votes. Straight, and up, and down votes, straight up and down votes got us a Barack, right? They got us uh, Rob and, and what? what they got happened? us Rob and that's what I'm saying, like, I'm not just talking about Democrats in the elected office. I'm talking about people who vote in caucus Democrat. Like, I'm not stupid, you know, in the last 50, well, basically, since November, whatever it was, 2008, like, the gloves are off. These white people are like, fuck it. it I, all Republicans, maybe not racist, but all racist Republicans. Right. Like, that's the day it happened. Right. Period. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So since that day, I'm I'm not stupid, you know. But prior to that, when it was to some extent about policy, or I would listen to both sides, and I've always been registered independent. Right. But I'm under no disillusion that Democrats are representative of my political leanings because they're not. But that's why I they're said. Not. But that's why I said it's not straight up and down vote because if straight up. But and I'm always gonna vote for them. I'm gonna vote. I, I get it, David. You you not I'm voting against? But you're not singular. In, you, mostly, you're not singular in that right though, Dave. Like like there are a whole bunch of people. So a whole lot of folks like you. We we talked about on the previous, on the previous show. 
you're not going to agree with all of the, 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 the issues on the platform, right? But your, your core issues, you will find someone who you can align with. If enough people align with this person, whoever this candidate is, that candidate gets in office. The typical pattern of behavior is that person turns his back on the needs, desires, and best wishes and uh, 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 best concerns of the people who voted for him. We have, like I said, straight up and down vote got us a Barack, right? And that's why I say you you can't play forty five by calling him a Barack because the people who put him there, regardless of whether you say it's illegal, unethical, oh, no. un immoral, he did something that you can explicitly say happened for the people who put him in place. Barack can't say he did that. He can't say that. So, oh yeah, I mean, he he, he, I he never feel he you never br he never brought it to the level of like I remember when um, You're right uh, uh, what's his name um, uh, 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 Biden him and him and, and uh, Vice Nick. President Harris yeah. look they got on TV and said uh, he said black people are the reason I'm here fine she got on TV and said I stand on the shoulders of black women and guess what. Every action that they've taken so far has done nothing to specifically. Yeah, yeah, so I'm saying, saying. So how, so, but that's straight up and down vote. So I'm saying it's got it's got to be something more than that to the point of why people just have the absolute fear of going. Like they have found that candidate who's willing to go to the extreme to be about Ooh. the wealth. That's the problem. That's why I said they will never allow that person to ever see the light Ooh, of day. Though. So you so if I feel like Stacey Abrams is where she is because she she will never she'll never rise to the power she deserves in this in in this political space because I I believe she understands that she is of the people and everything that she is going to do is <coughs> about the well-being and uplifting of the people. So that's not what we want to have happen because then we start to lose some of that power and then you start to see that radical change that you just said that particular population doesn't want to see. And it's inevitable. It is inevitable. There are far more of us than there are of them, right? So straight up and down vote should mean that if we say X, you in office, X should be doing what we tell X to do. But that's not how it goes. So this is this some other shit I want to talk to you then about. So this the other shit that make me mad and is with the Democrats. They won't do shit, just tokenism, right? I remember, like, doing Rona, even before Rona, where they was going to put Harriet Tubman on a $20 bill. That don't mean shit to me. Give me the $20. I mean, so that's one thing. That's it. Juneteenth being a federal holiday, but don't address... Police brutality, bro. But don't address police. Don't address nothing substantive. But I forgot who the, uh, I ain't going to say I forgot. Sam J. She just got a, oh, I'm sorry. Sam J. just got a show. And went off about, you know, Uncle Ben ain't Jemima. All right. We don't need woke white people advocating for that kind of shit. One, sounds like it fucked up, you know, that whole we lose, like thought Uncle Ben was a baller. The <laughs> Jemima was basically you fucking up black men. So anyway, but like that shit is not the important shit to us. Right, man. But it's but you know, it, I, it is it is supposed to be something that placates black people, which in my opinion, I believe the entire Obama administration was the exact same thing. It was an attempt to placate people and to send people into a sleep that makes them think that we have we're, we're, we're equals now because we had one of us. But, but what about your particular fortune? What about the fortunes of people who look just like you improved because you had that, that person? What about it? Nothing. I mean, I also, like I said, the, the, I ain't stupid. I mean, I'm black, so I'm a, I don't care what nobody says. You and, call and, me whatever. And that's why it's even more offensive, Dave. Yeah. That's why it's more offensive well, because he right, he man. he got the vote off of GP, right? Oh, GP. So 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 like, you made it this so far. So Dave, so but Dave, so so hold, so all right, so Dave. Now Fuck now we we know how it go. If I take care of you off of GP and help you get straight, at some point down the line, you gotta like. So look, what what does it that your community need? Your I mean, your your park needs some new uniforms for the baseball team, for the football so, team, like nothing. I'm still in. 
a moment. I'm I'm still gonna say I'm reflecting on Barack Press because I for eight years I called Barack Hodges off top, basically. Um like criminal justice or whatever. Son, he a whole criminal he, at mass incarceration. He's like, a law he's attorney himself. I don't understand why you gotta wait until your last day in office or whatever it is to pardon mother. Pardon niggas the first day. But even if you do Straight up. Even if that's what you're gonna Straight do. Straight up. Once you won re-election. Period. And it was understood. Everybody get no. It was understood that there was nothing that could be Everybody done. Everybody out. Why Why not? You s- got slammed for weed, you out to Do day. something to improve Period. the fortunes of that, the people don't get me started, who that, look that, like see, you. That's why I won't get started. The whole Obamacare shit pissed me off. They didn't just go full throat on the public option. And I could see if you went full throated and settled on Obamacare, but you didn't even go full throated. Like that's that was whole shit to me. Dave, his capacity that to, was just his capacity to fight for what's right for people versus what's optically right See. is a two completely different conversations for him. He would he would go balls to the wall for what is optically right, what looks like it's in the center of the room. So. But what's in the center of the room might not have shit to do with improving the fortunes of the people who way over there who've been hurting for all of this time. Yeah. Unfortunately, those are the people who up top to bottom, they gave you their vote and put you in office. So you turned around and said, you know, yes, we can. So what what did we do? So, yeah, that's why I don't really want, I mean, it's the, the go off. I'm just saying, in light mm. of this clusterfuck of an anomaly, of which I hope was an anomaly in this previous administration, I'm mm. looking at Robin Neck to see what's going on with him. I'm reflecting on W, who I said I, I would I didn't vote in 2000. I would have voted for W, but I did register in 2004 because I, I felt the country couldn't take no more a, a W. Mm-hmm. So I voted for a carrot. And they, but see, that's, that's Democratic whole shit. How you let... A draft dodging motherfucker call you a hoe when you the captain of the boat in the wall. That's whole shit to me. You let that be a story. You Dave, let oh he dignified. I mean you a hoe. Like I said, basically Dave, the that's whole shit. The 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 modus amp operandi of most people with that D behind their they, name. That's whole shit. It's to. To play the meek, mild mannered. Fuck that. You know, exa- I'm, I'm clear. That's, that. that, that's my disposition on that all of it. That shit ain't never worked. That is my disposition. And that's, that that's shit ain't why, never that worked. That is why that's my disposition so, because it's never worked. But they keep trying the same thing, get again, no results. I'm gonna go off. No results. I'm going to go off again. So somebody sent me something on, you know, I just got on Instagram and, oh, yeah. and hey, Twitter. Whereas you just walk up to the Twitter. In, in the Twitter. <laughs> yeah, I got on the Twitter. So they could send me some, and it just this, this wild. She, I'm like, oh, you can't just start off every conversation by calling us colonizers. And, and it was like a pause. Like, they really centered their feelings first before people life. Period. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And then my partner was like, well, I sent it out to my partner in the group chat. And then one was like, yeah, well, what if the white girl right? I'm like, I know she right. We not going to get the help, uh, you know, if, if we not nice and watch their feelings. But that has led to only negotiating on what I call edges, shit like Juneteenth. Or Harriet Tubman on a twenty dollar bill, and never really getting to substantive issues. Right. That's setting us up for a perpetual go to sleep, second class citizen. Go to sleep. That's what it sets you up. Like for. I'm, I'm not cool with that no more. I'm like, no, I'm not starting the conversation at edges no more. I don't care what's comfortable no more. Like the conversation can't start there. 
if people are talking really about progress. And I think it's incumbent on people, generally speaking, however you identify yourself or whatever, if you're just tired of the way this fucking America thing has not been working out for regular people, say I'm not starting the conversation now. I, that's not where I want to start the conversation. I mean, for for, for for starters, it is an experiment. Man, it right still now, remains an experiment. Period. Like, right now today, you got a lot of employers, uh, job creators, or whatever, it going into this summer. Like, oh, everybody who in entertainment summer, they, they popping, right? They got the, you know, two-year build up, the beach, the amusement park, all that's about to be popping. Mm-hmm. So all them about to make Jersey show, all them about to make their money, right? Mm-hmm. Then you got all of these employers after the summer vacation, the kids going to be going back to school, people getting today to a routine and all this and that. They really think, just let's start with the premise, they think I give a fuck, or people generally speaking give a fuck about going back to your office. Period. I don't, like, that's what they sitting around. That's the premise they starting at. We telling motherfuckers they got to show up on October 1st. So, let's figure out how that's going to look. That's where they starting at. Mm -hmm. You going to show, bitch, for what? What I'm showing up? You've been open the whole time. What the fuck I'm showing up for? Because you're a means to an end. Period. You're a means to an end. But what I'm showing up for? To be there means so to So you go watch me? So you go watch me? So you could justify paying some rent or some lease your stupid ass can't get out of now? So you want to just feel like you got to fuck up my situation? Yeah, but it but your situation don't matter. The only situation that matters is your ass. But in the, that's in the what building. they think. That's dead right now, son. I got you. That's dead. I'm telling. And if these employees, job creators, or whatever, if they not thinking like that, it's over for them. Cause people not trying to hear that, man. People not trying to hear that. Go sit in the whip for an hour and fifteen minutes to commute, and then an hour and fifteen to come back. And a man buying some, you know, cafeteria buffet style. Man, ain't going to a buffet. For no, you, come on, man. Go out to the cab. Yeah. Get the, man, stop hit the punch You're out. You're about to hit, dude. I hit the punch out. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck oh, out of here. shit, man. <laughs> Well, I'm go wait in line, nigga sneezing on my salad and all. Like, man, get the fuck but out. See, but For see, what? But see, that is that is how America has traditionally man, that's handled dead, this. Man, Greg. You, you're not explaining it to me. I'm I'm just simply saying that that's we dead, st- we still live in a society man. that has this antiquated, you know what I'm saying, image Greg. of how we're supposed to act in terms of our, you know, our relation to space and people. Greg. Hey, you know, I, I I must admit, you know, we've always been a little bit on the, the cutting edge some of the silverback shit, society. But you know, some I shit is, yeah, I mean, some shit, okay, like, made, you know, some shit not going to change, you feel me? Yeah. Um, people go, start going back to work, you know, oh, I like hitting this restaurant and all that. Mm-hmm. But they was wondering, this time last year, oh, I don't, oh, you ain't, Applebee's is closing, this little pizza spot on the church. No, man, but you're trying to run back to get to that shit. I get $500 between Uncle Sam and the state. But now the state saying, I'm a, gotta, guess what? You got to chop that. Guess what? You got to chop that. I'm going to find a way. Think I give a fuck about some Applebee's, man. <laughs> fuck your water. I don't, don't want to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> you two for two, two for twenty. Man, right. you don't tip anyway. I, I, I get you, but you, you, the the people who make those decisions Man. fit into the same category of people who we just talked about. They having a a a 
deep-seated fear of losing their power. Guess what? Of experiencing any radical change Guess in this what? country, Dave. They done lost that power. If they mm. think they about to get people to go wholesale back into these Oh, big, that that's definitely that's already a fight. Buildings. It's already a fight. But the problem is you're gonna have a lot of people that's about to lose cute, jobs. Man, look, a lot of people about to lose they, jobs I'm for that shit. You, Greg, they. they about to make it work. Mm-hmm. And then I, I think about But all but the, Dave, we just said that we talking about people who they don't give a rat's ass about the conditions for people. Man, they concerned about the means to the ends. Man. So who can, then, if you you lose your job, then guess what they're gonna do? They're gonna put the announcement out to get five candidates in and bring somebody in to replace you. But that's though they can't at the same time say they need people, because all of that's happening. They were like, oh, we can't find people who won't come work. Oh, maybe well we should pay people more. Okay, do that. Let's see if people go back to work. I mean. Like certain, sh- like they didn't lost that power, dog. But, but if you could pay more, of, it, but if you could pay people more now, then it means you had the money. So why the fuck you ain't just been? Paying that's them what more? they and that dog. Why you ain't just been paying them more? Forty five then showed. That's what I'm. I'm thankful that it this Rona happened during him because two things happened with this universal basic income thing. They really just found the money. They really just sent a check to everybody in the country. Everybody. Just got it. Yep. Kids and everything. You got it. Dogs, some for your goldfish here. You got it. Yeah. Take a couple just found take, the money. Take a couple nickels. And the same with the shots and the testing. Like with, they just found them no, the money. With all of this that's, oh, that's free health care. Grinding to a hole. Hey, free health No care. revenue coming in because nobody's working. Stim it. But they got money sent everybody a check. That old stimmy. Son. Second thing happened. Mo- wait, not not a check, multiple checks. The second thing that happened. You ain't hear shit about. You ain't hear not now mention of the word health care provider. That's what I said. It was free. You ain't hear not. You ain't hear nothing about get, that. You don't. You still hear nothing. Go get your shot. You get it. You get a coronavirus shot at the airport. Period. You get a coronavirus shot at the barber shop. Nothing. Period. You don't hear nothing about no copay, no premium. You get you get a shot of no tequila. No flex spin in the your, account. With your coronavirus shot. You don't hear nothing shot about for that. Shots. You get into into uh into the lottery. You don't for hear nothing taking about taking a coronavirus you shot. You don't hear nothing about you get a scholarship to college. Are you allergic for taking to a coronavirus this? shot? Oh, uh, uh, this medicine that you ain't hear nothing about none of that. Man, like, we'll take some points off your mortgage for getting a coronavirus shot. You ain't hear nobody die because they couldn't afford the ventilator. You ain't hear the the ambulance ain't come. None of the doctors and nurses who were working overtime didn't get paid. None of that. You ain't hear none of that. They got paid extra. They got paid what they finally worked. They not. We fucked up the PPP. They in the trash bags and shit. But for the most part, you ain't hear nothing about all no holdups with billing and reimbursements. You wasn't going to. You ain't hear nothing about that. You wasn't going to. So that happened. So they got, I mean, people saw that. People saw that. And <laughs> this time, people saw it work for them, right? It wasn't bail out the banks or bail out the car industry. But but Dave, so it was oh it, so y'all just got cheese and y'all just ain't been giving it to us. But see that's the that's bullshit because I'm gonna say this. All right, so you gave people a check for what twelve hundred the first rip, I think it was or something like that fourteen hundred something like that. All right, so let's just assume most people in this country live in a location where their rent might cost them eight nine. Right, mm, so off I'll the dump, stack, yeah. off, uh, all right. Let's say a stack off yeah. the dump. That person is automatically looking at two hundred dollars to pay food, gas, lights, and all of the other necessities that they mm. became accustomed to, and lost their ability to make provisions for, it, not mm. through any fault of their own. Mm. Right, so you give people literally not enough to get by on, and expect people to have a uh, like, I, I think it was more of an insult 
to give people that check than it was to not give them a check. Because you, you, you're you not even giving people enough money to take care of themselves, but you want people to not be dependent on the government. So how, how, how does that... Nah, so... How does how that balance out, though? So part of that... So it's two things. So part of that, they did have the... They stopped evictions, and some mortgage companies, many mortgage companies, for they gave forbearances for those mortgage notes. So if you had a landlord who wasn't a dick, and I'm not saying that's not the case. The operative not, word yeah, was... Not a dick. And if... But even if you had a landlord that's a dick, they could not evict you for non-payment of rent. What they are messing up now, fucking up right now, is if I couldn't pay They stacked all that rent, shit up. Yeah, they just stacked it so up. Now, so how I had to play 14 months back? So I'm going to so go back the, to the original premise. So that is one thing. The other thing is I'm saying give people the cheese even if and when they decide to go. Just give people the cheese. Yeah. They go work where they want to or not. I'm all for that. Give people yeah, the resources. Just give people the cheese. Yeah, give people the resources. Give people the cheese. We so, do it for the top. So why not do it for the people who are actually in need of the resources? Because, it's like you say, they can't have one black person benefit. It don't matter if 15,000 white people going to benefit from it. If they can show one nigga that they can stop leaving really? a happy life, Shh. oh, this no. This ain't going to work. We can't. What? Yeah, it's not going to work. What? Yeah, we got to reconsider this. Oh, it's yeah. not going to work. Dumb. They had a, a, a forum on NOLA.com today talking about housing equity. And it was like the biggest subsidy, the biggest federal subsidy goes to the... Homeowner mortgage interest deduction. Okay. And it's for people who own homes, you know, homes that cost two, three, four hundred, five hundred thousand dollars, and they get the most government assistance of any group of people in our country. We just cool with that. Mm -hmm. We just let that ride. Right. But how many people like us have homes that fit into those exactly. categories? But they who've been hollering about People that look like us getting Section 8 or vouchers or something like that. But they ain't, oh, don't worry about the, the mortgage. Oh, it, it encourages home ownership. And like, no, bitch, pay your fucking tax. But, so let's, pay your tax. But let's have the conversation about, I, I just thought about this, though. Like, how, 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 many, how many currency notes do we have in this country? What about, what about seven? About. What about, you got a, one, two, five, ten... 20, 20 50. 50, 100. Yeah. All right, so that's seven seven currency notes, right? And they were talking about putting Rose, I mean, uh, uh, Harry Tubman on, on one. one. Yeah. On one of them. Stupid, one of them. And it's it, stupid. It, it, it just, it, it sent some people into, like, to, they, they had conniptions because they could not, they, they couldn't, they couldn't so, fathom us removing the face of a white man to put a black man That's not place. even huh? it. That's not even it. That's they don't have nothing to do with remove. It, they could have added an eighteen dollar bill. It don't matter. You just better not have no black period. On it. Yeah, but I'm saying, the, but it's a it's a different level of offense to them for you to take down a white man's face and put Greg. up a black this black woman's face. Nah, bro, that ain't that. That ain't. Nah, that no. don't that don't sit well with murder. He's the same motherfucker that tell us get over it or. Oh. The but we'll tell you when we on forget. the Miami, take the Miami's down. But they'll uh, tell you never forget 9-11, though. Yeah. They'll never they'll tell you never forget. Why do, why do we celebrate the 4th of July every year? Yeah. Because these niggas. Why we can't let it go? Why we can't get over it? They stole the whole country. Why we can't get over it? They stole the whole country. Y'all let the losers storm the Capitol and hang they lose a flag up. They lost. Y'all let them hang their flag up in the Capitol. It was cool. Yeah. But if you want to hang a red, black, and green flag somewhere, you you going to get shot. You you will absolutely be shot. Right? And then they're gonna stand up and sing the Star Spangled Banner over you. That's America. That's 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 America. So, you know. Okay. So how we say away from that. I so mean, it's, it's, if this is America, I I want it because it's about to get loose time. You just you just had a, a born day. I have a born day coming up. Um 
And I feel like America about to show us a whole ass to summer. Like we saw some of the looseness last summer. You know, like when they had in Atlanta, they had the swimming pool inside the club. You saw that? Oh yeah. That kind yeah. of loose. oh oh so yeah. Oh, the, 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 the so let out? This yeah. is the let out. Yeah, so this is this what is the let out. Yeah, oh, it's about to be loose. Man, this is the let out. I feel like it's about to go clean. Oh, and this is the let out. Is son. is uncoordinated, unorganized loose. Because nothing is really planned, Steve. Chaos. Yeah, All nothing right. is really planned. This, so, is, this is resurgent chaos. I don't even know if Essence is happening. Essence is happening? I think they're doing some kind of some little ver- virtual yeah, thing. Here. So, yeah. But so, then they bounce it back next year. They're coming back. Yeah, but this year. But they year, told you, get ready for the looseness. Because oh, yeah. they come back. So, I have right. no doubt. So, one, the 2022 looseness. shit, nah. Mandatory Everything looseness. about to be loose. Wet. In just 2022. <laughs> to I'm just, just putting naked that in, the in the middle of the street. Yeah, I'm just putting that. I'm putting that in the street now. Is it going to be naked in the middle of the street? From Loosening. about ML, basically when Mardi Gras season starts. I was about to say, basically, we have it Mardi Gras next year. Yeah, so. from about Mardi Gras season on through whenever Christmas election, day. Tu- election Tuesday. I feel that's, Christmas day. I, I gotta be, I'm going to laugh. Oh, you dumb. Because these white people are going to do something stupid. I'm letting you know. What's happening? 2022 is over. I'm telling you, 45 gonna announce that he running. Oh, what you mean? Gonna I'm announce? Telling he you already that. Has, I'm man. telling you he gonna do it when the results come out. He already has. after the, the midterm elections, and I'm telling you, you better have your plan. He got his people already saying they are gonna make Joe Biden the one plan. half a term president. Yeah, not even a whole. He can't even get the whole term like Barack now. He yeah. a half a term, right? So, I mean. If, if you're willing to say that in a venue where you are being recorded by multiple live news outlets, then that's got to be something on your mind. And you and you got to have some reinforcements if you got the if you got the balls to just drop it like that. So, yeah, America is about to get loose. I feel America been loose, Dave. No, I'm talking about just oh, the, the, the bounce back from Corona. Yeah, like, yeah I mean, like it's the letout, son. It's the letout. Yeah, it's about to be. It's the letout. Everything is going streak. Everybody outside. Everybody's doing it. Everybody in the parking lot. <laughs> Everybody's right. doing it. Music loud. Doors open. So. Waiting for everybody to leave out the show. This yeah. Dog, so it was a trip. So still in this day, and I feel like, you know, we're about to get on. So still to this day. So I went to Florida, right? Um, one, First of all, I love Florida. It is everything America. All right. All right. Every ingredient of America you can find just in a, a great melody. <laughs> All right. All right. Oh, they sprinkle a little sousson in the room <laughs> of Florida. They got it all. Bruh. All right. So we go to Orlando. Uh, outside of Orlando, so Central Florida, uh, kind of retirementville yeah, yeah. and still agricultural. Um, but it was a drought, so it was just struggling. Uh, uh, like, you know, not that kind of drought, but an actual yeah, kind of drought yeah. with the citruses and all the citrus crops. So played a little golf, cool, right? Retirement community. I can't see myself living like that. It's like a 55 and over community. Uh, like a thousand homes out there. It's a beautiful neighborhood speed limit, like 25 miles. Most people are doing golf carts and stuff like that. Uh-huh. They got like a little downtown strip with a couple of restaurants. But you ain't got to leave for nothing. Right. Oh, but they just built a little hospital outside. Oh, yeah, you strapped. So they strapped, you right? Strapped. I don't know if I can live like that. They got boo shit, dances, club, whatever. Yeah. Sports teams, the whole night, whatever. But so that's that. So then... We go to a resort, a little family get together, you know, birthday weekend, right? And we out there, and my wife family is like 12, 15 of us, right? You know, right. We, we look like a black family, right? We, yeah. 
So it was some shit I never heard of, right? I'm, I'm just putting this All right. It's on Plantation Road. The address of the ship is Plantation Road on Captiva Island. You know what I'm saying? So, I ain't never seen no shit like this. It's just a duck. So, I'm looking at it on maps. Google Map and all that. I'm like, this ain't got a bridge. And I'm like, where are we really going? So, driving out there is outside, you know, about an hour and some change south of Tampa, by Fort Myers, Florida, on the the West Coast. Mm -hmm. I guess they call it Emerald Coast, yeah, Gold Coast, too. whatever. Nice, right? Then we, it's like 13 hours back to the NO. So we stop mm -hmm. in Pensacola, which I love. Mm -hmm. Which I love. It's just regular poor white people. <laughs> I, I love it. I love it. I love it. It's that, just, you talk about the middle of America, that in middle America. All right. Pensacola. Yeah, it was cool. In my element and everything. I like, yeah. Right. We on the beach kicking it. Yeah. But I get back to the N.O. telling people where I went. I guarantee you. If any white people are watching this or will watch, they know exactly what Captiva Island yes. is. No, none of the black people I talked to ever heard of. Never heard of. All of the white people, Grant. They all knew it. All of them looked at me like, oh, oh you, know, you, you been out there? Oh, yeah, you know about it? Yeah. Oh, okay. They were like, yeah, you know, I went, you know, we went to this place called Captiva Island. They're like, yeah, yeah, I, I, know, I know it well. I know it well. Yeah. How so? I ain't never said, never heard of this. Say so you know it well. And How we so? out there, and we definitely the only black family out there. Like everybody who worked there, you know, black people. Let's yeah. get out. Yeah, yeah. Let's get out. Yeah. So we getting the head down. Yeah, it's the movie Get but Out. Everybody. And I'm not, I'm not gonna say, you know, we felt, <clears throat> you know, out of place or nothing because, like I said. <laughs> The, the, I think the main thing white people like us about it is that we not that assimilate. Right. We're going to do us. We is us. We're going to do us where we at. We period. We're going to do us where we at. Yeah. This is equally for us because we built it. You can say all you want. We know what happened. Yeah. We built it. And we here now. Right. And we about to act like we about to act. Period. Like we put this shit together. Yeah. <laughs> because we did. So we being our so. <clears throat> but that didn't, you know, no pause for nothing like that. Right. You know. Um, but you could tell that everybody was wondering how the hell we knew about it. Hmm. Everybody was looking at, like, how, how y'all got how here? How did these niggas know about some Captiva Island? Oh, Plantation Road. Oh, yeah. Whew. How they know about this? And it, it, like, no, none of the big uh, skyscraper on the beach, like condos or nothing like that. Yeah. Very, very laid back. Like I said, the speed limit's 20 miles an hour. You know, once you get into, like, the ver various different, like, resort areas, 15 cool. miles an hour. Yeah. yeah we cool. Period. Yeah, we cool. You know, three stories, four stories, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Like all of the stores look like the old country general store. Yeah, it's like a little CVS or Starbucks, but it got that kind of. What your daddy told you? What did he yeah, say? the white people don't want you out there. <laughs> oh, no, they definitely didn't want it. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm, saying, I'm glad we went during the day. Right. Yeah, it wasn't no big back at night. No, sir. Sir. Right, that's that's what? not a that's that's not a chance. I see. I gotta take. You right? talking about a sundown town? No. Yeah, you're not about to get caught back. No. Here. But see, but look though, Dave, we live in a country where <laughs> it's understood when you say sundown town, Greg. it's understood what that means, though. Greg. Like that's understood. I felt like the bridge 
to Fort Myers closed at sundown. I felt like if because it was something to be like, I was gonna have to go to the store for something. And Cause I was like, no, period. It's over. We no, out. it's dark. Yeah, we out. <coughs> no. Yeah, yeah, you ain't going nowhere. Period. <laughs> like, <laughs> and I really felt like they got a bridge, the you know, decent sized bridge. It ain't no, you know, Huey P or nothing like that. It's just enough for you to know it's you don't belong bridge. here. Yeah, just just so you can think about what's going on. You don't belong here. This is a little ride. You need to decide. Are you? And you really want to take this? Yeah. yeah. Is this period? Is this the best? Yeah. The best we ain't got no street lights over here. No nothing. Is this the best course of action for you and your family? No sir. Yeah. Period. But so, in in a country where we are expected to have that level of understanding and stay in your place, right? For for us to be able to to vote and find an elected representative who who is in position to it's it's impossible to level the playing field with one administration right that's yeah. Im- that's impossible to that's do that's the other thing i think but you still ha- you still have to have some expect like it's we we're not talking about shit that happened in just the 1920s or the 1830s yeah. like like my like we losing brothers today i know so that's another Flaw, I guess, I see in a Democrat strategy in particular, there is no ground game. There is no plan for these state and local offices. They want it to be about, oh, Democrat, wokeness, this national politics. But that, you know, one of my friends who was in politics, Ben Sosa and Scott, he said, all politics is local. Absolutely. They are not. Absolutely. They don't speak to individual locales like Republicans do. And the people who are local, one, are most vulnerable, but two, who are most, you know, impactful and accountable. For instance, Jason Williams with the DA. Right. It's, NPR did a, um, no, I, th- I think it was Clint Smith they had on. NPR and he was talking about the evolution of the the DA, right. the the prosecutor, right? right? That didn't the used office. to exist. Right. And you know, that particular office in American jurisdictions decides who gets slammed. Period. Point blank. Right. Point blank. So we can hoop and holler all we want about National politics, they need to, like, legalize weed or why are they slamming, you know, women for standing their ground against a, an, abuser, an abuser, right? Right. He don't have to charge those people with shit. Right. Period. He could pull a can of zero. Period. Charge who he want. That's it. It's not only his, his option, but his obligation is to decide who the fuck he want to charge and what not to charge. So... That's on him. But the, but the mayor... Canacero got a discretion. I wouldn't even call it discretion. He it got is. A, it's literally he in got the law. He got a free... But look, his ability to express the freedom that is laid out in the law... It's almost absolute, Greg, and that's what people don't understand. But, but I'm just saying, but look at... How, so how much criticism across the board did he receive for how he decided to will his... Legally bound absolute power, right? Did he receive any criticism for how he decided to to to, to express himself there? I, I I don't know much. That not enough. Come, not right. nearly so, enough. So but Jason, I think that Jason has made what two or three decisions. No, two, but I but think that's why Canazero decided not to run again for office because he had never had nobody call him out on that shit though. You don't need, I don't even remember. I don't even remember who he ran against to to win. I know I vote in every election, and I know I wouldn't have voted for Canazero. I don't even know who he ran against. But he knew that this particular race, with everything that was going on, he had no chance to get behind a microphone and do any kind of mouth talking and not be called out on that bullshit. I, I but see that, but that, that level of arrogance always thinks he has a chance to get up he on a microphone and mouthpiece. Well, he didn't. And, and my, my concern is... That just just in the sheer absolute value expression, 
you know, regardless of whether you agree or disagree, indifferent, I don't care. Jason's expression of that legally bound power has received far more criticism in such a, amount of t a short amount of time than this man has been. He's been a, he's been a, the DA since the DA was the DA, and like well. he dug, he he still has not paid for the 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 illegal uh, uh, summonses that he was sending to people. Like he did all kind of illegal and ethical shit, but. But our focus is not on addressing how the statute is written, which gives the absolute power. Yeah. We just worried about how people decide to express it. I think, one, our attention needs to be equally split on both. All right. With respect to Jason Williams, I don't think it's that, you know, he's receiving more or less scrutiny i just think it's more or less scrutiny from us because we feel closer to this particular person who is in office like we we feel like we can be more influential by voicing our concerns to this particular elected official versus that level of um confidence in our voices being heard with the last person to hold that office and I'll say this is where, again, Democrats or people in general do need to start thinking about a strategy for these local elections. So the right. reason we don't have majority or at least representative houses or legislatures in any of the southern states it's not because there's no black people. It's because of gerrymander. Clear about that? But there are some statewide elections where we have to debo and settle on candidates, advocate or really support a candidate who will, you know, commit to blocking unjust redistricting. redistricting. Yeah. So that's both a local you know, a state-level strategy and a local-level strategy. So, one, you have to put pressure on, you know, your local legislator to vote for just MAP or advocate for the creation of one. And then with that statewide office, with your voting block in the statewide office, you have to elect somebody who's going to say, I'm not going to sign, you know, a, a, a redistricting map that's blatantly... Racist. I know what time it is. Mm -hmm. I know there's more black people here. Mm -hmm. Y'all trying to not have one co vote count. But that's what I'm saying. Am I the only nigga who not a hope and can say that? Because it just seemed easy to me, especially like if, like you said, if you term limited, show your ass. Everybody won't wait till, and you saw this with some of them motherfuckers. Who supported 45, and I'm, I'm sorry for my life, but these motherfuckers, they won't wait till they resign or not seeking re-election to go start mouth talking. Yeah. Boy, you a hoe. That's a whole hoe shit right there. Yeah. You been knew that shit the whole time. And now all of a sudden, oh, in hindsight, boy, you a whole hoe. That's so, all so, I got to say but about this, that. This is, so, so... An administration that was absolutely rife with scandal, Man. like unethical behavior, illegal behavior, immoral behavior, and in, in, in every kind of, of negative connotation you could apply to it. And they still had all of the energy and concern and bandwidth to focus on outcomes for the people who supported them. Now you have an administration that literally did nothing wrong. This dude didn't have a single scandal, a single schism, a single about? blemish on his administration. Who you talking about? 44. Yeah. And he decided like, not to use his energy, especially in his second term. So, so then, what, what, where do you find that candidate, Dave? Like, where, where do you find that candidate I so. who, is, who is brave enough to say I really could give a fuck about how people view my comportment to what's best for the That's people who put I'm me saying. here. And that, fuck it. Big Easy. You run it. Fuck it. You run it. Fuck it. 
because it it don't it really don't make so. Again, I'm not just about to go head first on Barack. I did that enough for eight years, and I'll just leave it at that. I, I if I allowed myself to get disappointed by whole shit Democrats did. It, I mean, yeah, you you been you be perpetually disappointed. I just drove perpetually you feel disappointed. Me? Like, but that's they, not they, where I'm so at. You you made a comment earlier about that ground game, right? Like Democrat, no, Demo- no, that's not true. Democrats have an impressive ground game when it comes to getting votes, but when it comes to getting some shit done, they have no ground game. So they can. They can spread spread out volunteers and get block captains and region directors to make sure we that's got fair. telephone trees. They could get all that shit done yeah, that's fair. with with an impeccable precision. But when it comes to all of those people who they phone treed and all of those people who they knocked on doors saying do this, when it comes to them doing that, that's where everything falls apart. So I'm a I'm a I'm a close this whole bucket of shit with this, and this is what I've been pointing at. With Democrats the whole time. They have just as many black senators in the Democratic Party as they do in the Republican Party. For the longest time, yes, Democrats had solved. For about two to three, four years there, you had twice as many black senators as the Republicans had black senators, but that shows me just about everything that I need to know about the Democrats. You have a you have a, a congressional black caucus that seems to fail to fight and no, advocate for the Let's best the, the 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 best wishes and the best outcomes and the best impacts for black people. So it's like, you know, at at what point do we get to meaningfully engage in the process, or at what point do we send candidates to represent us or officials elect officials to represent us so, who have the unapologetic disposition and like I just I think those people have a they, they'll be the uh, the noonie mans right yes but 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 they'll never be taken serious enough by the general masses to be able to reach that level but they are the people that you need unfortunately you might need that you know, non-traditional approach to politics yeah, to really to yeah. really push the ball forward, man. Like, but we we ain't yeah. Democrats will never stand behind no shit like that. Uh, yeah, no, fuck it. They I'm never gonna, stand. I'm behind. gonna run. So, all right. So you gonna run? So look, we need security for this brother. Yeah, I'm because good. the moment that this black man I'm says good. that he's putting himself out there, this brother's gonna be a target. Yeah, I'm, so I'm, I'm just, good. I'm good. I mean, I'm just, we I'm we just talked we just sat here and talked about America. So I'm just I'm telling good. y'all, you know, my these, opinion of what the, the state of, of affairs is. These are my people. So, yeah. and, so I I will say I feel good about the show. I feel good. We yeah. wrapped and he even wrapped. He shut everything down and everything. So yeah, man. I'm gonna say, man, I really enjoyed this. No doubt. It's uh, it's definitely a joy and a pleasure to rap with you. Yeah. Um, Shit, this is what we used to do on the couch in Kent Village, you yeah. dig? So, yeah, you know I'm saying. So, so we out here. I feel blessed and fortunate, man, that I'm still, you know, like I said, about to turn forty and still living, you know, my best decade and and, and trying to keep that going. You dig? I think we got something with the go off. Oh yeah, the and we go gonna, off. Going to constantly bubble it and tinker with it and make it. Make it to get yeah, we got to bring some guests on though. That's know? definitely happening. Yeah, we got to bring some guests. You know? I've been, you know, looking at dabbling with a little, you know, the Zoom segment bringing production, in you know, that kind of yeah. situation. Yeah. All right. But make I'm gonna sexy. I'm gonna talk to Wu about it. We gonna get it together. Yeah, so, yeah. So I guess right. I guess Wu putting us out now. So yeah, yeah. We guess we gotta ride. Yeah. 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 So all right, we just went off. So let's right. go off. So we got the it's a blab situation. Yeah, dude. All right, for sure.